Stanford University. We were all here today, gathered around robots and, and different devices that we have here to experiment with how robots are used in daily life. You're starting from nothing. You're starting from an idea and coming up with some pretty fully featured demos by the end. Our project involves not only getting this arm to play the xylophone, but learning how to control the arm and write code for controlling the arm itself. We have this little microphone down here hidden beneath our xylophone. <laughs> and a person can play any song on the xylophone, which is then recorded and processed. And then the robot arm will mimic whatever the person played. Our project was called Domibot. It was a robot that could play and interact with dominoes, and it would play with a human. We had a camera uh, that could interpret the playing field for the robot, so it kind of was like the eyes of the robot. Uh, and then we had to program kind of a brain so that the robot understood how to play the game of dominoes and interact with the human. And then we had to uh, incorporate the movement, how we'd control the robot properly. Our project was, can we teach an industrial robot arm to have an artistic side? So what that meant for us was we took a raw image, like a trumpet or a smiley face or the Stanford logo, as we demoed, and can we translate that into a sketch on the robot? This required us to segment the image into a series of edges and then control the robot arm to trace out those edges. We think about how robots interact with humans all the time in the movies that we see and, and different things in the media. And it's really cool to see, you know, in the background how that's all working and how, you know, the future of robotics will involve human interaction. Robotics is only going to have a greater and greater influence in our everyday lives. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.